dear friends before we are going to study the functions and geometry periods and for real series of even and odd function and half range expansions let us discuss some of the preliminaries first one is periodic function a function f of x is said to be periodic if we can find a number p such that f of x is equal to f of x plus p if such a p is existing that p is said to be the period and if you are going for such the smallest such p that is called the fundamental period the next thing is for a series of a periodic function suppose f of x is given to be as a periodic function with a period 2 pi then its uh, for a series expansion is f of x is equal to a naught plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x in this a naught a1, a n and b n are called the Fourier coefficients and it is given by the Euler's formula a0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to pi f of x dx and a n as 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x into cos n x dx and b n as 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x sin nx dx next thing we want to check is that the convergence of a Fourier series when does a Fourier series converges in the introduction I have already stated that when you are asked to find the Fourier series for a function what we are going to do is we are exactly approximating that function in terms of the trigonometric function sin, sin sin x and cos x so when this function should be exactly equal to the uh, Fourier series we have just to find it out it reveals that when the function is piecewise continuous in the given interval minus pi to pi and its left hand derivative right hand derivative are existing at all points then of that interval then we can say that the Fourier series a0 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x of f of x is convergent. So if we have stated about the piecewise continuous things. So if any points some x0 the function is not continuous means we can find its value like this. So f of x0 is equal to average of the left hand limit and right hand limit. x0 minus 0 will denote the left hand limit and x0 plus 0 will denote the right hand limit. 